our main event of the evening. Brought to you by Dave & Buster's. The only place to eat, drink, play, and watch sports. All right, let's take a look at this reach. Four inches for the champion. He was able to use that to win the championship. He was doing a good job with the jab. He was doing a good job with the TP. He needs to do that at night, tonight against Ego. Michael C. Williams with the official introductions. Ladies and gentlemen, live on Paramount Network, Miller Live presents Bellator MMA tonight from Windstar World Casino and Resort. The time has come for the main event of the evening. Five five-minute rounds for the Bellator Bantamweight World Championship. Sanctioned by the Chickasaw Nation Office of the Gaming Commissioner, Mr. Scott Colbert. Tonight's world title fight is brought to you by Miller Live. Great taste and only 96 calories. And now, introducing the blue corner. At five foot eight, weighing in 134.2 pounds. His professional record, 18 victories, just three defeats. Fighting out of Natal, he hails from Mosoro, Rio Grande do Norte, Brazil. The challenger, Leandro Pitbull Eagle. And across the cage, the champion tonight fights out of the red corner at five foot ten, weighing in 134.7 pounds. In his first defense of the title, he enters tonight with 11 professional victories, only one defeat. Proudly hailing from and representing Rahway, New Jersey, he fights out of San Diego, California, the defending Bellator Bantamweight World Champion, Darion the Wall. Well, when the bell rings, the referee in charge of the action, Jason Herzog. But has gone over the rules in the back. This is for the Bellator World Champion. There were no final questions from you, Red. There were no final questions from you, Blue. Touch gloves if you want. Am I ready to fight? Jason Herzog, our referee, for our main event of the evening. Darian Caldwell. Leandro Ego. Bantamweight right, belt on the buddy line. Fight. Here we go. Tonight's fight clock brought to you by Miller Lite. Great taste and only 96 calories. Red gloves for the southpaw, the champion Caldwell. Blue gloves for the challenger, Leandro Ego. Good kick early. Good kick early and I like the pace already by Caldwell so many times. And it's very hard to criticize a guy. Very hard, you gotta really search to find how do you critique a world champion? But I will offer you this. So many times he has come out early, not quite understood the pacing. Treated it more like a wrestling match where I'm gonna go score my points early. I think it took him a little bit in his career to realize, wait a minute, this isn't about points, it's about damage, it's about longevity. I've heard him criticized for not being in great shape. That criticism is false, absolutely false. He just has used a lot of er uh, energy too early and not spread it out. He's a different fighter. He's evolving every day. He's got a pit bull in front of him, but Caldwell feels he's the best version of the Wolf that he's ever been, looking to defend for the very first time. Set the goal to be a champion back in 2012. 2018 he is, and he's defending right now. Both guys are looking to establish range. Ego finally gets off with an inside leg kick of his own at some point. Once range is figured out, Caldwell's going to double cross him, change elevation, and look to tackle him to the ground. That is a weapon that I do not believe Ego is bringing into the fight tonight. Both Patricky and Patricio in his corner, along with Eric Albersine, his wrestling coach. Ego spent a lot, a lot of time preparing for this fight, and a lot of time overall with the Olympic medalist, Henry Cejudo, the gold medals, they're good buds. That's a good guy to work on wrestling with. Well, I don't think you could get a better training partner for this weight class when you're trying to take on and defend a wrestler. But look, Ego's marching orders are pretty simple, and there it is. Glass double set up by the hands. And great mix attack. Okay, he threw a cross, he stepped into it. Well, Ego brought his hands up to defend. Caldwell was already changing elevation to go low and tackle him to the ground. Now, this is a great stand-up, though. What a good job Ego does getting his back up against the fence, working his way up, unless he can get an underhook. Get one arm inside, though. He's going to be susceptible to be brought down to the mat. Caldwell loves his position. He loves his position. Oh, my God. Can he he's get it right here? Yes, and it's all over. He has it. Ref, get wait, 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 wait. Get get it. It. And it's all over. Darian Caldwell submits Leandro Ego.
Take a look at the finish. Our fight replay brought to you by Blackheart Premium Spice Rum, the bold 93 proof rum. That's edgy to the core of the official rum of Bellator MMA. Ego did a great job. He stood back up to his feet here, but Caldwell had the position, meaning the underhook. So we're gonna go back down to the mat. We know that when Caldwell comes over the top for any submission, the absolute key, it's not pressure, guys. It's getting your hands locked. When Caldwell got these long arms around him, he was locked, it was too tight, he was under the chin. I thought Ego, I thought Ego had gone out when I saw his his hand temporarily moved there, but either way, Caldwell's in great position. He got his hips, he's got him pinned, but he has his lock under the chin. This one is over. Fifth submission win for Darian Caldwell inside the Bellator cage. That ties him for second. Most importantly, he has defended his bantamweight belt. Including tonight, all six of Darian Coldwell's career finishes have come in round number one. To make it official, Michael C. Williams. Ladies and gentlemen, inside the Bellator cage, officially, two minutes, 36 seconds into round number one, the tap comes by way of a guillotine by submission. He is still the Bellator Bantamweight World Champion. Darion, the Wolf Caldwell. The belt remains around the waist of the Wolf. Here's Chael Sonnen. All right, champ, congratulations. I know defending that championship was very important to you. How do you feel now that you've succeeded? Hey, I'm not calling none of you chumps out. If you want some, come get some. Well, speaking of, champions traditionally do not call people out. And speaking of tradition, you and Baby Joe are one apiece. And a tradition in combat sports says when that happens, you go to match three. Should Scott Coker agree with me and make you that proposal, what would you say? I don't give a shit. Who, who is Baby Joe? Who is this guy you speak of? Hey, Scott Coker, you know I'm with whatever. Michael McDonald, Baby Joe, Eduardo Dantes. Shit, give this guy a rematch. It don't matter. I'm running through him. How? How good did it feel when you got your hands locked? Fuck you. Fuck you up, too. I'm gonna beat your ass, too. You better be ready when I come up. I'm lining the Pitbull brothers up. One, two, three. I just beat the little protege. Next is you, bro. You gotta understand that, but stay in your place. Stay in your place, boy. Champ, to get back to this fight, when you got him down on the mat, when you got your hands locked, at what point did you know this contest was over? Well, uh, I knew as soon as I got my hands on him, it was going to be a wrap. He wasn't that strong. 
These 35 pounders aren't that strong, but I'm gonna continue to do what I'm doing here. You know, it's working for me. So once, it's, once we're ready, we're, we'll be ready to go up there. You, you got, you're gonna see, you're gonna see. Ladies and gentlemen, congratulations to your winner and still world champion, Darion Caldwell.